Hi, I'm JD and welcome back to my channel. Today I am customizing my Alpha Smart Neo 2. The first step I took was to remove the battery panel and the batteries, and that just took a normal Phillips head screwdriver. The other screws on the back of the Neo 2 were ha actually had this special like star um, shaped head. So I had to hunt down my husband's set of special screwdrivers. Now the four on top are a different size than the four on the bottom, so that was a issue I found, but uh, I just was able to go a couple size down, a couple size down to get that figured out. So now I did make sure to save the screws and set them aside so I wouldn't lose them because. Again, with that special um, head shape on the screws, it would be difficult to replace them, I think. Taking the back off was a little eye-opening. It was easy to get the back actually off, but I found that the circuit board was screwed in, again, with those screws, and then I found it was actually kind of like welded in in a few places. So this was kind of different from my previous Alpha Smart Neo, where I was able to actually completely dismantle it and pull out the screen and the circuit board and the keyboard off that front face. And this was just a little more complicated than I really felt like dealing with right at that moment. So you can see here, I'm putting the screws for the circuit board back in. Um, I just decided not to paint the front cover. It was just going to be too much of a hassle uh, for me to deal with at this point in time. I think later on down the road, if I feel like it, I might try and have my husband help me pull out that circuit board and do the front, but that's a project for another day. So since I'm just gonna paint the back, I went ahead and grabbed some masking tape and I'm covering up the pieces on the back that I don't want to spray paint, uh, which is the whole back information panel here. And once I get that covered, I kind of run my nail through the crease there before grabbing my X-Acto knife to go around and this was going to help give it a clean finished look once the spray paint goes on. Um, I did have to be careful because the plastic was kind of soft. Um, if there was a couple places I ended up scoring it with the knife uh, when I went to kind of try and move it, uh, remove the excess. So just a little word of caution, uh, just be careful with your X-Acto knife if you try this. A little a little pressure goes a long way kind of thing so I cleaned up the edges on the information panel and then I actually decided to go ahead and cover the feet as well on the back of this Alpha Spark Neo panel I did this because I didn't want the spray paint to affect like the grippiness of the rubber on the little feet so I just put a little piece of tape over them and kind of cut it out so that way um, it'll stay clean and free of the spray paint. I've actually been looking forward to this project for a little while now um, just because I really enjoyed customizing my previous Neo and this just kind of gave me something fun to do while we've been at home in lockdown and I didn't have to go out too much to the store to grab what I needed. Um, I had the masking tape at home. I ordered the Neo off of Amazon and, and we grabbed the spray paint from one of our trips to the home improvement store um, to get a bunch of other stuff we needed for some home projects that we've been working on since we've been home so much. So, but yeah, this has been a fun, 
fun little project I've enjoyed. So here's the spray paint I used. It's for metal, plastic, and glass, I even think. Um, so my next step was to head outside. I obviously don't want to spray paint inside the house. And I just cut up some old grocery bags. I did this so that way I can lay them out to protect the table. I didn't want to get paint on our nice folding table that we use for cookouts and stuff. So, uh, and I just ended up taping this down to the table to help protect it. And I actually kind of chose a bad day to do this because as soon as I got everything set up and got the Alpha Smart painted, <laughs> it like started a storm and rain. So I had to move everything into the garage and I don't have much footage of it drying. I often have trouble finding time to do some projects like this uh, around the kids, but being able to have them outside and me working outside really kind of helped. I know with some writing stuff, I just can't, I can't focus on writing and the kids at the same time. So being able to kind of still be doing something towards my writing process and goals was while the kids were playing outside was a good bonus activity for the afternoon. It was definitely a good mood booster for me. I just worked on spraying some even coats over the back plate and just try to keep the spray paint moving continuous line. There was a few spots where it kind of splotched and ran a little bit, but you can't really tell, so it wasn't too bad. And now that it is coated and painted, I just have to let it sit and dry. And I actually did this for a couple of days. So it's been a couple of days and I just grab my X-Acto knife again and start working it under the masking tape to peel it off. There was a little bit of extra paint around some of the feet, but that wasn't too bad um, or hard to scrape off with the knife. Uh, and once I get all the feet done, I am going to work on peeling off that back panel. But you can see the finish came out pretty well. I'm, I'm really happy with it actually. It fudged a little around the battery plate area, but really it's the back. I'm not too worried about it. This was just kind of like a fun experiment. So if I really wanted to, I could go and spray paint it again, um, maybe a different color if I wanted to. But it, yeah, I really like how it came out. So the next step was to put it back together. And this was really super simple, especially since I didn't pull out the screen or the circuit board or anything. It was just a matter of putting the back plate back on it and putting all the screws back in. Um, trying to remember which screws go where too. The smaller ones went along the bottom, there's bigger ones along the top, and then the Phillips head screws go on the battery pack. Overall, this was a super easy project to do. I, I did most of the work in one afternoon, uh, spray painting it and taking it apart and whatnot, and then just spent another maybe, I don't even think it was 30 minutes putting it back together. Um, it was really super simple and easy to do. I think that just having that right screwdriver to get those back screws off was needed, was the only like special tool I needed. Um, so just kind of make sure you have one of those and you're good. So I, I did not spray paint the back, the battery bar, but I kind of like the way that looks when you do it like that. So after I got the back, and everything put back on and I turned it on, it came up with a message saying that an unexpected data change had occurred. Basically, it had recognized that the batteries had been out of the Neo for so long and that it just needed to like reset. So definitely, if you're gonna do this, make sure you have all your data off of it uh, because it's probably not gonna be there when you turn it back on. <laughs> but it started up normally, so. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have loved this video. Like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next week. Peace, love, and happy writing, y'all.